In today's video, we'll be reviewing two powerful animation apps, Flip a Clip and Calipeg. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Flip a Clip is a lightweight 2D animation app released in 2012, available in both Android and iOS operating systems. It is breaking records with millions of downloads on both platforms, and it has been awarded App of the Year by both Google Play and Apple App Store. The concept behind the app is simple. It works just like a flipbook, which is a booklet with a series of images that you flip through to create motion. And with a bunch of intuitive tools that we will talk about later, you can make impressive frame-by-frame -frame cartoons and movie animations easily on your smartphone or tablet. It allows you to share your projects with your community on different platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and many more. On the other side, Calipeg is a pixel-based 2D animation app exclusively for the iPad. Uh, yes, it's available only for the iPad and not even on iPhones. It is a great place to start making animations because it's both visually appealing and helpful. It also offers fantastic 2D drawing tools and robust animation features adapted to iOS ergonomics and design, which makes it ideal for beginners as well as professionals since it employs some of the industry standard methods. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from Skillshare, where you will learn the basics of Calipeg 1.5 and create 2D animations on your iPad. This beginner-friendly course by Melanie DeMonte guides you through Calipeg on your iPad, covering everything from studio setup and drawing tools to exporting and backup, empowering you to craft your own animations. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. All right, now back to the video. Now, since you have an idea about these two apps, let's have a head-to-head -head comparison. First, let's take a closer look at the UI. Calipeg has a friendly user interface that is really easy to navigate. The first thing that we will see when we open a new project is the canvas where we can draw and animate. The tools are placed around it in a way that fits the iPad and the Apple Pencil experience very well. Starting with the top bar, which contains some icons like the setting menu, hide and unhide the timeline and the image reference, the frame rate, the volume bar, and finally the color picker. Going to the left, we have a sidebar that was made to be used easily with fingers. It has some drawing tools like the brushes, the eraser, a paint bucket, selection, and transformation tools. Also, we have the undo and redo, and finally, the playback button to playback and pause your animation. Going deep down, we have the timeline where we can manage layers, frames, and sheets. Also, you find some buttons that allow you to change the view of the timeline and the behavior mode of neighbor sheets. Moving on to Flip a Clip, which comes also with a clean and easy to use interface that looks similar to Calipeg. As soon as you open the application, you will find the canvas, which is our working area. On the left, we have a bar that contains drawing tools like the brushes, the eraser, lasso tool, fill tool, Tool and the text tool. In the top right side, we have some options like copy paste, undo and redo, and the ruler to draw shapes. At the bottom, we have our important thing when it comes to animation, the timeline, where we can play with frames and layers and add audio and sound effects. Finally, on the right, we have the play button to start our animation. Drawing tools. Now that you're familiar with the interface, let's talk about some of the art and drawing tools, starting with the brushes. Calipeg offers different brushes available by default, including pencil, pencil HB, charcoal, china marker, flat brush, Indian ink, and soft pencil. And you are able to make your own brushes with a fully manageable brush settings panel such as smoothing, texture, spacing, and many more. Unlike Flip a Clip, where the brushes are few and limited, even though recently they added more brushes, fully customizable, and a stabilizer to make your lines smoother. Switching to colors, both Flip a Clip and Calipeg use the chromatic wheel, which allows you to easily choose your colors and offer the possibility to create your own palettes. In addition to that, in Calipeg, we can find the sliders, which allow you to play with color values, red, green, blue, hue, saturation, and brightness, and finally, the possibility to check your color history. Animation features. Now let's talk about the part that you're probably waiting for, the animation features. 
The first interesting feature we have in Calipeg is the multiple timeline layers that allow you to add different layers in your timeline to create depth in your scene. And this is very helpful when creating detailed animations. Speaking about layers, Calipeg offers four different types of layers that allow you to work with multiple content. We have the drawing layer, the video layer, the audio layer, and the transformation layer. Uh, one more cool feature is the cycles, which are a way to loop your animation without having to copy and paste your sheets. There are three types of cycles. The loop, to repeat the cycle in its original order. The ping pong, to invert the cycle for each repetition. And finally, the random, to repeat the sheets anywhere randomly. However, the repeated sheets are linked together, and any modification on them will be applied to their sisters. Unlike Calipeg, Flip-A-Clip packs few features on animation tools, but it is still useful for your animation projects. So first, we have the onion skinning, which allows you to see several frames at once and helps you take the right decisions to make your animation better and smoother. Another feature we can find in Flip-A-Clip is rotoscoping, which allows you to upload a video to the canvas, lower the opacity and draw over it frame by frame. This can help animators to use their own video references and speed up their workflow. Also, we have the time lapse that is a creative filming and video editing technique that manipulates the frame rates. Before jumping to the next section, there are some features in Calipeg that we won't find in Flip a Clip and will for sure make the user experience better, such as the multi-touch gestures, which allow you to control and navigate the canvas, the layers, and the timeline. Also, it allows you to play and pause the animation, undo and redo, and many, many more. All this using finger gestures. And finally, the possibility to switch the interface completely to fit left-handed users. When it comes to the learning curve, Flip a Clip can be counted as user-friendly. It has a simple interface, common drawing tools, and neat animation features, making the learning curve as painless as possible. So if you're a beginner, it can be a breeze for you regardless of experience. On the other hand, Calipeg as well has a steep learning curve, but it has some powerful animation tools. It might take some time to understand some of the tools, but with some work and dedication, you will be able to build skills using the app in a short period. In addition to all of that, both apps offer a learning documentation, useful tutorials, and a support team that can help you whenever you need help. The final point in our video today is pricing. Flip a Clip is a freemium app, meaning that you can download and use it for free, but it limits access to some tools and features such as adding more layers, adding your own audio, removing ads and watermark, which you can get by purchasing the features with a one-time payment separately for $1 or all at once for $4.99. On the contrary, Calipeg is a paid app that offers three low-priced subscription options, monthly subscription that costs $1.99 Per month, a yearly subscription of $14.99 a year, and a lifetime purchase for $54.99. However, you can download Calipeg for free and enjoy a 7-day trial before choosing the paid plan that fits you well. So we come to the end of this video. To conclude, we can say that both of these apps are interesting and both have their pros and cons. So it is up to you after all to pick what the best is for you. I hope this video was useful. Let us know in the comment section which app you're using or willing to use in your animation creations. And don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye.